pretties welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to do something different we are going to shoot one of my clients as i do makeup on her and i've decided to do this because most of the time i normally apply makeup on my clients but i don't shoot it and i find it very very interesting because the makeup turns out to be so 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 good in being compared to what i usually do so i'm going to start with the makeup primer so i am using super stay primer and it's in liquid form so i'll just put it on her skin and use a beauty blender to blend it out on her skin i'm done with that so next i'm going to use a spoolie to brush her brows upwards then I'll use Davis number 18 eyebrow pencil to fill in her brows. And you can use any type of, any number of eyebrow pencil in accordance to your preference. As long as you don't walk around looking like a clown. Makeup is meant to enhance your beauty. It's not meant to degrade your beauty. Are you getting me? <laughs> so i think i'm done with that and i've realized that uh, towards the end of her brows she has very very thin hairs so i'm just going to feed in with the black pencil so that the brows can be more outlined and uh, i'm going to clear up her brows using two shades of a concealer a lighter concealer and a darker concealer. Uh, the lighter concealer is in the shade Fawn. So I'll use a flat brush to outline the lower line of her brows. I'm using the Fawn shade which was a lighter concealer which is lighter to her skin. What I'm, I'm doing is that I am drawing a straight line and connecting it to a curve towards the end. I am going to spread out the concealer downwards so that it blends into her skin. And you should be careful while doing this. We don't want to mess with our brows because we will have to start all over. I'll do the same on this other side, just drawing a straight line and connecting it to a curve towards the end. And while doing this, you should follow the natural shape of your brows, either your brows or maybe you're applying makeup to someone else. You should just follow the natural shape of her brows. I bet this, this hack will never fail you. Then I'm just done with that. I think I'll have to add some shade. So I'll use a darker concealer to outline her upper line of the brows. I'm just doing what I did on the lower line, drawing a straight line as I connected to the curve towards the end. And I'm going to spread out the concealer. So that it blends into the skin. We don't want to create harsh lines whereby you can know the difference of the two shades. So we are just, all we are doing is blending in. And blending in is our policy. Just blend, blend, blend in. I bet this will never fail you. That's why, don't just apply makeup. Just do simple makeup because I bet makeup requires a lot of attention and a lot of time. So you should just do each and everything perfectly. And I'm done with that. I'm going to use a lighter concealer to conceal her eyelids because we want to apply eyeshadow. And if you want your eyeshadow, pigment to be more pigmented you just you just apply a lighter concealer on your eyelids i bet this will never never fail you and uh, i'm using a an eyeshadow brush and jacqueline hill palette i'm using this shade so i'll just apply it on the outer crease of her eyes 
and uh, I'll do this using circles and don't be hard don't let me let me look for a word uh, don't apply a lot of pigment on the outer crease and you tap in the pigment don't drag the pigment so that's how it turned out and next i'm going to use purple and i'll mix it with blue to bring out a dark purple shade so i'll just do this i'm repeating the same step but with different pigments where i applied the maroon color so i'm just going to apply the shade on the outer crease and next i'm going to use the same 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 flat brush to draw a curve uh, we all we always call this cut and creasing so I'm just going to cut the crease and I'm using a lighter shade concealer with the same same flat brush because the flat brush already has content in it so it's going to give the perfect perfect shape as I'm doing this I'm making sure that the concealer blends in and uh, the curve is as perfect as possible so i'm just done with that i'm going to do the same on this other side and i'll try my best that the creases turns out to be symmetrical and if you've never noticed is science says that our face is symmetrical but as to me i think it's somehow it's 99 percent symmetrical and one percent <laughs> asymmetrical so the one percent will go for the i think the eyebrows are not the same and the eyelids by the way they're not in the same shape as science claims to be so i'll repeat the same same procedure that i did on the on this other eyelid and i'll do the same on the on this eyelid that's what i'm doing I'll just use the same same flat brush with the same concealer shade to cut and crease and I'll make sure they turn out perfect and they look like twins identical twins and remember the purpose of applying a lighter shade concealer is to make the pigment stand out <laughs> is it the right term <laughs> so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply this shimmer it's a shimmer shade shimmery pink so i'll apply it on the area where i had cut and crease and while doing this you're tapping in the content don't drag the content if you drag the content and remember shimmers are very very hard pigment to deal with so if you you drag the content your shimmers is going to cake and i think uh, for what i've learned is you're not supposed to let the concealer dry out because when you let the concealer dry out and you apply the shimmery color it's going to cake and when i say cake i mean that it's going to create some lumps small small lumps and it will make your makeup look so so unnatural and that's what you're trying to avoid so i'll just apply the shimmers tapping in tapping in tapping in and i'm using the same same eyeshadow palette jacqueline hill Morph X. Is it Morph or Morphe? Yeah, Jacqueline Hill Morph X palette. I'll do the same on this other side. Tapping in the shimmery color. I'll tap it in, tap it in, tap it in until I acquire the shade that I think it's best for her or I think it's best for the look.
and you should be keen while doing this because you can get the content out of the crease and you will have to start all over. So I'm using uh, the same flat brush that I used to apply the purple color to connect the colors and avoid the harsh lines. So I'm just done with applying the eyeshadow. What I'm going to do is highlight her, highlight her face using a lighter concealer, the same same lighter concealer. It's in the shade Fawn. And uh, we, when highlighting, you apply the lighter shade concealer on the under eye so i've just done what i've said and i'm using a blending brush to blend in the concealer and by the way different skin types have different under eye tone and under skin tone so some have gray under skin tone some have orange under skin tone and some have yellow under skin tone and i'll tell you more about this as we continue with this makeup journey i'm now highlighting her forehead and her chin so uh, i'm making sure that the concealer blends into her skin and does not leave any harsh lines that will make her makeup look unnatural i'll do this over and over I'll repeat, 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 repeat. And remember, we are tapping in the content. Don't drag the content. A lot of you people make this mistake. So next, I am using the darker concealer to conceal her at the, the outer area of her forehead and uh, the area below her chin, her cheekbones. I'm sorry. Sorry for that. So I'm just tapping in the concealer using a beauty blender and I'll do this over and over until it blends into her skin I am done with that so I'm going to use fit me foundation to blend in everything and next i am using a powder super stay powder to bake her face i really love i think baking is makes your face look thinner and that's what i like so i'm going to bake her under eye and while doing this you just apply it on the under eye don't spread it out to the cheek, cheek cheeks and I'll do this on her forehead too then next on her chin I'll make sure that the baking the compressed powder bakes into her skin so what we are basically doing is baking and i think i'm going to make her nose look thinner so i'll just apply the same 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 lighter concealer along her nose and i think the most important makeup product you're not supposed to lack among what you have is a concealer and i'd prefer you have two shades of a concealer so that you can it can help you i think it's important because it will help you to contour your face so i'm just done with that i'm using fit me powder and a powder brush um i'm contouring her face so i'll just apply the powder using circles under her cheek bones and the outer area of her forehead I am applying it through circles
and uh, I had to do her eyeliner and her eyelash off the camera because I was having a technical problem with my my phone so I didn't record that I'm so I'm really really sorry for that I'm going to use a lasting fix spray to set her face so it's just more of it's more of a setting spray so uh, i'll spray it away from her face no towards her face but a distance at a distance so i'm done with that i'm going to fan her face for it to dry and this is the final look she really really liked it thank you for watching don't forget to like, comment, and share.